Greetings, I am Herbert Erpaderp, and it's time for another Ask a Herbert Erpaderp. It's almost like these things happen regularly or something. Before we get to the questions, I want to tell you about a new video series I've decided to start. It's pretty simple, I'll be looking at the various war memorials around town. There are hundreds of them of various sizes and I thought it might be interesting to go and look at them. If you are watching this Ask a Herbert Erpaderp on the day it goes live, you won't be able to watch this series yet, though if you are a patron it's already been available for a couple of days. The first video will be released on Anzac Day, which is the 25th of this month, which is April 2020, in case you're watching in the future. Then going forward, my plan is to release them every second week on Thursdays alternating with Ask a Herbert Erpaderp. So if that sounds interesting to you, keep an eye out. So far it's been a pretty interesting project for me, and hopefully it is for you as well. Ok, question time. First up, Major General Bunk has a voice question. Are you playing any video games at the moment aside from GTA, Seven Ways to Die, Rolling Line and World of Tanks? What games are you considering giving a try in the near future? Almost all of the games I've been playing lately have been on stream, which hasn't really totaled a lot of hours. I did briefly play a little bit of No Man's Sky the other day, and I have been playing some Rolling Line off stream as well. Sometimes it's just nice to relax with your virtual model railway. I have been thinking of playing Two Point Hospital and some more Planet Coaster, also Fallout 4. And I have had a bit of a hankering to play through Half-Life 2 again. I've also been meaning to start Sniper Elite 4 for quite a while. There are also probably quite a few that I'm forgetting about, and will likely remember them as soon as the video is rendered. The problem is I get a bit indecisive when I'm thinking about what games to stream. Sometimes I'm just not in the mood for a particular game. As a reminder, asking a question in your own voice is a perk of being a patron. And of course there's a link in the description below if you would like to become a patron. There are also other perks like seeing the outtakes videos which I've recently started doing again. And now, text based questions. Muse said, how many times do you think you've said the words Herbert Erpaderp? I'm not sure, easily 20 or more. I'm pretty good at counting and keeping track of things, that's for sure. Trekan Belovich said, What's your favourite jerry can? Hmm, I've never really given it much thought. I suppose if I were to use one I would prefer something modern and clean, especially if I was using it for water. Also does this include other things with similar uses, like the old flimsies? I guess the answer is I don't really have a particular favourite, which is probably not really surprising. Martin Gotham said, If a movie was based on you, who would you like to be played by? Hmm, I don't know. I guess I would want somebody that realistically looks like me, so Jason Momoa or somebody like that? What do you mean I'm delusional? You're delusional. I can't actually think of any actors that resemble me, so we might as well go for somebody ridiculously unlike me, because the movie would have to be ridiculously unlike my life to make it interesting enough to watch. Jono said, If you could drift a tank, should you? I would suggest probably not in most circumstances. There's videos of tanks drifting on ice on purpose, and that's pretty cool. Also there's videos of a tank in that cool tank olympics or whatever it's called, where a tank is drifting around a corner and ends up rolling over. Which is also kinda cool, but probably not what you really want. So I guess if you want to drift your tank, you have to take the risks as well. Musei said, What is your favourite movie series? The only one I can really think of is Star Trek. Most of those movies are pretty good. I'm not much of a movie guy though, so no other series is really jumping to mind. Maybe Lord of the Rings? I like Star Trek a bit more though. Trekan Belovich said, What do you think? What's the difference, slash, is there a difference between not leaving the house although you can, and not leaving the house because you're not allowed to? I guess it probably is kind of obvious, but of course there's a difference. It's mostly around consequences because during the COVID isolation thing you can still leave your house. In most places you probably won't even be stopped, and you are allowed to go out for exercise and shopping for food and things like that, essential activities. 
The difference is if you go out now as opposed to a few months ago is that you now risk catching a virus that could kill you. I mean there is always a risk that you die anytime you go out anyway but it's a bit different. That's generally not risking the health of the rest of the population. I feel like most people don't like being told what to do and I certainly don't and I think that's part of the reason why people who would otherwise be happy to stay at home don't like it so much. Then you get the people who can't think beyond their own selfish wants who feel like being told to stay at home is some massive injustice because they've pretty much never been told no or encountered any real hardships or injustices in their lives. I guess there's a bunch more I could talk about but to be honest the whole thing is rather exhausting. I've already talked a bit on Ask a Herbert Erpaderp about people who would happily see me die as an immunocompromised person with the mistaken thought that they could go to the pub or get their hair cut or something sooner. People are stupid and maybe I'm waffling. The Derpy KV2 shared an image and said, do you think they should make a model of this? I think they should. Imagine how angry and perhaps confused it would make some people. It would be very entertaining. I would be tempted to build one just for that. Stuglife also shared a photoshop and said, how good would this plane be if it's implemented in War Thunder? I would imagine much whining and complaining would ensue, as with just about everything that's added or changed in War Thunder, so that might be funny. Sneaky Zaku said, is the weather behaving for you locally? Does it often behave or is it akin to the eternal shower of whales? I guess really it's behaving how it normally does, though there has been a few more rainy or overcast days of late. Actually those were more common a few weeks ago when I was wanting to go and film for my memorial series. I know I complained on stream about it a few times but it was really hard to get a reasonably sunny day. Personally I don't like sunny days very much but for filming outside they are kind of ideal and for that I'm willing to tolerate them. I would actually love it if the weather could be described as an eternal shower. Instead it's just consistently too warm. Eric Hartman said, how does one tank? I can't give out the secret of how to tank just like that. People would end up killing me. I've said too much. In the comment section of last fortnight's Ask a Herbert Erpaderp, William Pitts said, I love your voice Herbert Erpaderp. It's calming and very soothing. Thank you, it's always very nice to receive a compliment, particularly when the internet is full of shitty people. Unsurprisingly, sometimes people do give me shit about my voice and probably 10 years ago it would have upset me, but I have been able to use it to make money which is probably something people who attack me over it can't say for themselves. Either way, thank you for the compliment, I appreciate it. Bob Bob Bobbing Along said, Herbert, do you know about these Planet Coaster cheat codes? Some are kind of cool and some of them are kind of derpy. I'm not going to read them all out, but I was not aware of these. Some of them seem kind of annoying to use, but I can also see some entertainment value in some of them, especially the one to make all of the guests puke. Hmm, tempting. I don't think I'll use them, at least not right away, but it is good to know about them, so thanks. Mark Ferguson said, your painting videos might get fewer views or upvotes or whatever because everybody thinks their way is the right way as you mentioned about rivet counters. Not a few YouTubers who do modeling include a disclaimer along the lines of, this isn't the right way or the only way to do this, it's just my way. You'd think that would be obvious, but I guess not. Personally, I very much appreciate your occasionally totally off the wall paint jobs, but then I'm told I'm weird, so there's that. There's nothing wrong with being weird. I would argue that it's better than being normal, but then I do tend to interpret the word normal as another word for boring. I do agree with you that it should be obvious that there are a lot of ways to paint or build models, or do anything really, and to be fair, a lot of people do get that. There's just a portion of people who want everything to be reduced down to very simple yes, no, a, b, black and white statements with no nuance who like to pick to one side of a thing and stick to it. It's not something I really understand, but you do see people like that getting very argumentative and defensive when you suggest that views other than their own are also valid. 
I guess it's part of that thing, mostly for dudes, where you're seen as being weak if you admit to being wrong or being open to changing your mind or whatever, and everything's a competition and you've got to be real aggressive and stuff. I think that kind of thing is a big problem, and those people are rather draining and not really worth engaging with too much. But I guess I'm starting to waffle. At any rate, I'm glad you enjoy my very sensible paint jobs. Mike Wazowski 677 said, Please do the Zvezda 1100 scale M3 Lee. While I probably will get around to building this kit at some point, I don't have one in my stash, and I don't take requests. Also, it's kind of annoying when you ask the same question over and over everywhere, so maybe don't do that. Ratto Poika said, My girlfriend absolutely loves your mice videos, but she isn't interested in watching you play video games or building and painting models. So? There can only be one solution. I guess that solution is for her to not watch the videos that she doesn't like. Crazy, I know. Maybe she would have enjoyed it when I recently streamed World of Tanks. That stream included a lot of mouse cam. Anyway, that's it for the questions this fortnight. The time for models is now. First, Space Monkey has shared this 28mm scale, resin and metal version of Oddball's M4A3 Sherman from Kelly's Heroes. The model is by Warlord. This is obviously a very fun model, and I think Space Monkey has done a pretty good job with it. This is a movie that I haven't seen for about 300 years, so maybe I should watch it again. I probably say something like that every time I see Oddball's Sherman anyway but eventually I will go and watch it again. Either way, excellent work. Monol has shared this Kubelwagen. This is the 28mm scale model from Rubicon, and I think it looks really cool. Both the kit itself, which I'll get around to building myself one day, but as you can see, it's also been painted very nicely. The mud splattering looks rather good. Monol says that this is the first model on which he's used MIG Ultra Matte Varnish, and he rather likes it. It looks like it works pretty well, too. M4 Valentine has created this awesome mouse. This is a Romanian version which was uh, borrowed from the Germans. It's based on a Blitzkrieg miniatures resin mouse, the crew are from Perry, and the accessories are from Rubicon. This has been really well painted, and I especially like the red colour used on the turret. A lot of the markings here are hand painted and they look really good. I'm assuming some of them are decals though. Either way, this is an amazing looking model. Pax Britannica has just finished making some iron halos for his Red Legion captains, who I believe are Lennon, and a very shouty Stalin. These are 3D printed with a resin printer, and it looks very fitting with this army. Nice work. Trekan Belovich has shared this pair of Messerschmitt BF109s by Warlord Games. These are resin models in 1/200th scale. Unfortunately, one of them does have a fairly noticeable bend in the wing, but Trekan didn't want to break it in trying to fix it, which is understandable. They do look pretty nice though. Good work. The Flanders Pigeon Murder, which is an interesting name, shared this P40 Warhawk. P40 was the Warhawk, right? I am not a plainsman, so I'm not quite sure. I am sure this is a very cool model though. There was no information about the scale or manufacturer, but I don't suppose that matters a whole lot. What I like about this is it's pretty neat and clean. There is a bit of weathering, some chipping around the wing roots where the people have been walking on it, and a bit of dirt on the bottom, but otherwise it's pretty clean and looks to be quite well maintained. Very nice. Hope for the Best has shared this 3D printed Stargate. I think this is awesome. And here's a couple of pictures of it after being painted. This is intended to be an objective for Team Yankee, which I think is a really cool idea, and it's been executed fantastically. There are so many cool things you can do with objectives, and they don't always have to be based in reality. Though Stargate clearly is based in reality, isn't it? Awesome work. Okay, so that's it for the modelling this fortnight. Last fortnight I asked people to share their pets, because seeing adorable critters can greatly improve your day. Well, it improves my day anyway. So let's look at some of the pets that have been shared on Discord. Tankman88 shared this good dog who is wearing a beanie, or toque, or whatever you want to call it, probably to hide his face and keep his identity concealed. 
Here's a kitty, probably doesn't want to have naps interrupted for pats, but I would still do it. And two very fat guinea pigs, very adorable. I'd kind of like to have guinea pigs myself again one day, that would be nice. And here's a naughty doggo who has managed to get onto the table. I would still give treats. Grungy Dan shared this picture of Sarosia. I was told how to pronounce that, but I'm still not quite sure. Anyway, this was taken after the first spring slash summer fur appointment. She doesn't look all that happy about it. And here's a before picture. That's a heck of a lot of fur. You can see why some trimming is needed. And here she is all curled up. Probably not really all that phased by the haircut. The Derpy KV2 shared this good doggo who has become too big for the bed from when he was small. Still kind of fits though. Enough to sleep anyway. And here's another good doggo. The picture was captioned, she's a dog. But to be fair, most dogs are. And that's okay. Probably part of the reason we love them. John Crosby shared this picture of Misty, the 13 year old African grey parrot. That sounds like a lot of years, but I've heard that these birds are quite long lived. As well as rather smart, not to mention adorable. And speaking of adorable, here is Bandit the dog. Looks a lot like my family's old dog, just a bit bigger. I would love to give this doggo pets. Smoes does not have a dog, but does have a cat. I know this picture was taken mid yawn, but I choose to believe that it's mid shout. Hey human, food, now. Or something along those lines. Sneaky Zaku does have a doggo. I believe this adorable little guy is named Dexter. Very fashionable clothing. King Tiger 435 has a scaly doggo. A very strange looking doggo, but incredibly cute. I'm not sure pats would be appreciated, still kind of want a pat though. Jack647 shared this small weird doggo with cute little ears. I'm not sure what breed this puppy is, but it's adorable. And I'd bet the fur is really nice and soft. Yukari Akiyama shared this cute dog saying, Dog awake. It looks like something startling has happened. I do hope some good good pats or maybe some snacks followed this awakening. And that's all of the pets for this video. I don't know about you, but I feel pretty good after seeing them. And I think that will do for Ask a Herbert Opaderp this fortnight. As always, thank you for the questions, models and adorable pet pictures. Ask a Herbert Erpaderp will be back in two weeks, so if you've got any burning questions, feel free to put them in the comments section below or on Discord. If you haven't done so already, why not subscribe, follow, ring the bell, become a patron or YouTube member, or maybe just come say hi on Discord or Twitch. Links to all of those things are in the description below. And as always, I shall return soon. So until then, be excellent to each other, and thanks for watching. Farewell.